Two weeks ago, I did a video about Home Depot and their tiny homes. I ended up featuring a couple other companies besides Home Depot, and one of them was Backyard Workroom. Now, Backyard Workroom claims that they could put this together in about 28 minutes. I'm gonna challenge them to a crawfish boil. We're gonna be beating the clock. Which one is gonna take longer? Is it gonna be the crawfish or it's gonna be the house? And we're gonna be starting that right now. Backyard Workroom, yay! <laughs> this is not a Home Depot home. 8.43 and uh, they're just pulled up in the driveway and I'm packing it. How are you doing this morning? Good, how are you? Good. Richard Benavides, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> morning, fellas. Marvin. Morning. Hey, Marvin. Hey, Yay, hello. Crawfish cooking here. House going here. I still have to put a mascara. This is it. It's going down. We have 30 minutes to get it done. We're going to see which one is going to get done quicker. Crawfish. Or the house. We're ready, guys? Yay! 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 Let's do it! Go! <laughs> so we try to get everything on site depending on exactly how it comes off. Uh, our seal goes onto the back of the trailer, which is what we've already brought in. And then the last two items, the bigger pieces, are the roof ceiling combinations. So these will carry in by hand our panel cart, proper term. And then the roof panels, even though they are uh, made out of the uh, foam, structural insulated panel, uh, they're just bulky, so we'll probably use those as well. This is the walls, and the R factor of a house is typically an R13. This is an R21. The oh, typical it's not heavy. No, it's not, and extremely strong. A. <laughs> we take this to the shows, and I've probably a thousand people have probably beat on this. So. Oh, That's so. So like, um, like with hurricanes and stuff, they worry about projectiles. What was the highest wind speed you probably get for these walls? 130 is what we can, I can tell you right now because uh -huh. that's what it's engineered to in uh, Texas. Okay. If we go and work in other states, they uh -huh. would be matching that. Of course, one of my dogs had to do that. He had to make his morning business. The price point wise, is it, it isn't nearly as bad as a lot of the other tiny homes I've seen. You know, have you had people reaching out to you? Well, we just got approved by FEMA. Oh, did you? Oh, yes. fantastic. I could do a 40 unit a homeless shelter on a quarter of an acre. I can do all that in a week. They already put this down. Wow, that was quick already. <laughs> <laughs> That's very quick. Here in beam construction process. And this part of our patent is the adjustable footing. So they're pulling this apart. All Everything is factory built. Those piers that have the screws that are that can level will level this out so if the yard is sloped on one side that's what will level it out that's what we're doing yeah, let's do oh you're gonna show us go ahead and show us <laughs> so it's just the same product that all anchors do they would use these in modular homes oh wow you're gonna have a level structural you know product that is meets code and ready to move in and then a forward i need lunch 15 minutes in so 15 we're minutes yeah, I need hard wire. Sure, not okay. a problem. Electricians are the ones who will come in and do that. Okay. In that case, all we would do is put a little floor plug back there, uh -huh. put a data uh, access, and then the electrical all gets tied in. I do want to ask one thing. So when someone, if someone was living in Texas, you deliver this, you actually deliver and put them together in Texas? So let me kind of say what we are. So I started the business with always uh, the intentions of doing kits. Okay. Always. That's okay. how come I paid attention to the sides. How do I pack it? Will it get into a shipping container? Okay. How do I give somebody a plan that says A to B? And okay. so the last year we've been doing backyard workroom is more of the test bed of how to do the construction, how to be able to teach somebody to do it. And if someone was to order your kits, would they need an engineer to put it together? No, or? we will always send the engineer drawings and the kits prior to. Okay. Probably what we'll do is send out consultants in the beginning. Like I say, we wanted to go to California. Correct. At the and we would have somebody like me here today going, okay, guys, do this and do this. Uh -huh. This is as big as my kid's bedroom. This one, this one is actually bigger than my kid's bedroom. Uh -huh. This is where I film. This will tell you exactly how small this room is. So that's why I'm so excited about the work room. The room is six, six foot. Well, between here and here, six foot for uh -huh. sure. Uh, by about six by six. <laughs> yeah, six by six. Now we have the opportunity to, to bring on third party contractors, work with local contractors, uh -huh. work with DIYers who want to do it themselves as well. Oh, well, awesome. Uh, even even some guys on a crawfish bowl could put this together on your own <laughs> oh, if you'd like. Hey, this would be more fun than painting a house. I don't hear the, the crawfish going. Is there a problem? No. 
Oh, you've never had crawfish? No, I have. I've just mm. never cooked them. We're more of a fajita area. <laughs> yeah. Some people would talk about panelized construction, like SIPs. Would this be considered SIPs? Yeah, this is SIPs. Uh -huh. That's called a structural insulated panel. That is this here, this uh, foam, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, with a laminate on the outside. What's real important about this one is this type of laminate. These panels are eight by 24 foot long. That's like going into a Home Depot and buying a piece of plywood. And then we take uh, their panels that we buy from the manufacturer and use their system so that we can engineer it. And then we paint it, cut it to our size, make sure it fits. And then we also put the roof on, put the colors on, and then we deliver the backyard workroom finished panel. But yeah, this is old style construction. The big difference is, is most of the SIPs that I've seen in the past just had plywood or OSB on them. Uh, we start from the front and go clockwise. What is that? The, you said the P3? Yes, because the side panel would be P2, uh -huh. and that's the P3. Uh -huh. And then the other panel we have on the other side, the right-hand side, would be P4. And those are, the, those are the four panels that we have in every building. Everything else is what we call a filler, because we actually build from the inside out. Okay. You may do, this is what you may do. You may call back and say, you know what? I really like this, but I need 10 more feet. We'll come down, bring the panels, disassemble the building, add 10 more feet, put this building back in less than a day. Oh, so, so oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So if someone like screwed up and said, this was too small for what I needed, you can come back out and add some more to it. Add some more to it. What about a year from now? Absolutely. You just can keep adding to it. Mm -hmm. They're saying five more minutes. They're, they're gonna be able to get this done in five more for minutes? The oh, with the walls. Oh, with the walls. They still gotta put the roof up with the wall. Maybe 10 minutes for the roof. 10 minutes with the roof, for walls and roof, 10 minutes. But still, that's, I mean, it's gonna be under an hour though. Oh, yes. Way under an hour. Uh, we'll be in the side about three hours. And that's the wood floors, uh, the um, lighting, everything else. And now, you can blame me too. Like I, I've, I've, I stopped you guys a few times. Uh -oh. So again, this is the demo model. Mm -hmm. We have eight foot in the front ceiling. Our front wall height, which is the width of the panels that we buy, uh -huh. and seven foot six in the back. Okay. So we have that uh, slope, which is a six inch slope. So my HOA requires a specific paint color. Is that going to be a problem for people? No, it's not. So what we have uh, eight exterior colors, uh -huh. four interior colors, and six door colors. Okay. Uh, this is another thing we do. We buy all paint from Sherwin Williams. Okay. Which I'm sure there's one around here. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to give us the custom colors, as long as you can pick from them, who's got thousands, we charge a $100 change fee. Those are what the walls are made of, right? Insulation's incredible. Yes. Be our air, air conditioning. Uh, we use a through the wall unit. This okay. through the wall unit is a lot different than a window unit because this allows us to uh, air condition square footage. While editing this, I realized one thing. I didn't show the inside of the tiny home, and that's because the inside of this tiny home didn't have anything in it. It was just a box. But I'm going to rectify that right now. All right, okay, guys. hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> We're running out of time. You're running out of time. Is it done? Yep. Oh, they're getting close, man, because the roof is going on and Eddie's draining them out right now. They haven't hit the table yet. Still angle line around the top, which again calls that keystone effect. We're really going to start tying everything together. Remember, this is the finished product. We're starting to paint it on the inside, paint it on the outside has the uh, polyurea roofing on the top. Polyurea. Polyurea. It course, sounds like got, a dirty word. <laughs> we got spicy crawfish coming. Spicy crawfish <laughs> and polyurea. Pardon me. The winning uh -oh. uh, team is coming. Oh, oh no! Uh, oh no! <laughs> team crawfish won. <laughs> Eddie, you got him done before the house. I come and run the crown molding. Uh huh. I'll touch up the paint a little bit just so it looks presentable. And 30 minutes, man. That was good. That's it. That's the structure of the house. Yeah. Solito, si. Pinche ahí. Uh huh. Okay. 
right, what do you think? Okay, let me mm. try it. Yeah, it's Here really it good, yes. Too spicy? A1, no. All right, what do you think? Mm, this is some good crow. <laughs> you like it? Crow? Yeah. yeah, because the crawfish got done before the, yeah, got <laughs> the done. house, but that's all right. All in good fun. Right now it's 1226. That is the current time. Everything is complete in this house. So what do you guys think? This one is a 10 by 15. The one I'm probably gonna be looking at is a 10 by 10. Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. To watch some more videos about the Home Depot houses and the houses I compared it to, go ahead and click this video right here. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer. And I tell you all this because good real estate information matters. 